Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a tips and tricks video for anybody that wonders what is tracking you on the internet. Now every website that you go to it's pretty much invisible you don't really see it but we are being tracked everywhere. The main reason for this tracking is ads. So by having tracking they can see what we like and what we usually buy and of course give us ads that have the best chances of being interesting to us but there's a lot of things going on and sometimes you might wonder what is tracking you and what is it so in the store and by the way this is a extension that's available for every browser uh, including Google Chrome so whatever browser you're using uh, it's available. So on Chrome you can get it through the uh, Chrome extension store. Uh, in Microsoft Edge you can go to the uh, extension store in um, view, through the browser and you'll see something called Ghostery. So you click Ghostery and you install this. Ghostery, okay, let's just start with the beginning. First of all, Ghostery has been criticized a little bit because of all the information that it might actually send back to the parent company. But it is interesting and it, it's up to you to decide. Uh, it is interesting because I've read a very, very uh, extensive article on Extreme Tech where they actually have interviewed the CEO of the company that, makes, that has Ghostery. By the way, that is not something that they created, it's something they bought and are integrating. So, what they actually do is once it's installed in your browser you will have this extension called ghostery and you see this little ghost on the upper right corner uh, of your page so ghostery will scan every page that you go to tell you all the tracking that is going on two things you can do here by the way ghostery um, first of all will ask you for the first time that you have a um, you install it will ask you can you know do you want to send back all the data about tracking that you have so basically that means that all the tracking and all the websites you visit will be sent back that's where a lot of users are a little scared because it can actually see every page that you visit if you do send the information back now go, the company that uh, has ghostery does say we're very transparent about this we don't know who you are, we cannot know who you are from this information. And so, you know, you gotta believe that they do not, and they, they say that they don't sell any information, they don't make money out of the, your results of web pages. So, you know, we gotta try to think that it's probably safe, uh, but, you know, like everything in life, sometimes you gotta, you gotta say, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the, uh, I'm going to give, you know, the the chance to this company and 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 hope that they are, you know, okay and safe as they say. So an example, let's go to a page like um I don't know, what page do we see here? Can I check it out? So let's go to YouTube for example. So YouTube page is loading and when the YouTube page is loading, you will see that ghostery on the upper right corner has a little number next to everything. And look at this. When you click on it, it now opens a panel, gives you what type of tracking cookie is found on each page. So here it says there are three trackers and they're advertising trackers. And it gives you the information about who they are, double clip, Google AdSense, Google Dynamic Remarketing. So if you click, for example, double click, it will give you all the details of what it is. You can have more details and the detected tracker URLs. It will tell you at what time it took for the page to load. And you'll be able to do uh, click either to have these in trusted site, meaning you're okay with double click. But if you want, you can actually restrict site and say, no, I don't want to have tracking from this. And by clicking the restrict site, it actually blocks these trackers, meaning now they can't do their jobs. So it's a very nice tool to actually know what's tracking you. For example, my local newspaper here, La Presse, 
has a lot of tracking going on. So you see here on the bottom right, there's a number. And if you click Ghostery, of course, you will see everything. Different colors mean different things. So for example, a big chunk is advertising. Then there's site analytics. So they have tools to you know prepare and know a little more about who are the users and what they actually do. Then you've got essential. So here's the uh, Google stuff. And then you've got social media. There's Facebook connect tracking, the one tracker here. So you have all the details here. And like I said, you can actually um, also restrict them or click trust if you want to trust certain. So it's, it's very interesting. It is um, a lot of information and it is surprising the amount of trackers that are detected. Now, Ghostery works on HTTP pages. So if you have secure pages, they will not have the information for secure websites most of the time. So that's something you got to understand also about the tracking. It, it doesn't necessarily always work depending on the website. So of course, you can also create an account. And uh, that account, of course, will enable you to have more details and see the different analytics of your own browsing. So Ghostery, kind of an interesting tool to add to uh, Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, Firefox. It's available for all major browsers, including also Internet Explorer. And uh, check it out. It is available uh, for sure. If you are using Google Chrome and you're wondering where do I get Ghostery, well, simply uh, open your um, Chrome browser. And in here, you can uh, actually go to, you can type Ghostery for the uh, research and you will see Chrome Web Store. Make sure you're at the Chrome Web Store, which is chrome.google.com, by the way. And you can, of course, add Ghostery to uh, Google Chrome and Firefox also, Internet Explorer. So basically, a tool to see what's tracking you. And if you wish, enable blocking of the track. They say that it enables faster browsing. I don't really see much difference personally. Uh, maybe if you block everything, I don't know. Uh, but um, it's interesting to see uh, this little tool, uh, Ghostery, available for uh, browsers. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. And thank you so much for following us on this channel.